Hello, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate on how to set up a uh, variable price barcode parser on a Clover station. I think this is a Duo now it's called, uh, used to be Pro. Uh, and so we're going to use a variable price barcode parser. The first thing you want to do is make sure that yours says that the configuration is complete and that app is ready for use. If it doesn't say that, if it says that it's not ready for use, what you want to do is close the app, open settings, and in settings go to accessibility, and in accessibility you will see variable price barcode parser, and yours will be off. So just make sure that it's turned on, like ours, and that will make, uh, ensure that your app is ready for use. The next step you want to do is set up your items. And here I'm going off of an example with a uh, that was given to us by an agent and so basis points shout out to basis points all right so here's our label right we have uh, an item name and we have a product code and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to inventory and let me do a bit of a zoom in here if you don't mind all right, and I'm going to try to set it up by skipping that first number two and just doing five zeros followed by a two. And I'm going to check if I already have this. Um, no, not by that. But I'm going to check it by... Um, oh. I'm going to check it by entering the number, which is one, two, three, four, five, and a two. And we do, and I've already tested it here. So let me go ahead and um, change the name of the product here. It's going to be bulk LME refill. All right, I'm hoping to you basis points this will make sense. All right, so I'm keeping this item variable, <coughs> and my product code is going to be. You see what I'm doing, right? So I'm just skipping the the two and going for the next six digits. And I'm hitting save. So there it is. I only have one product like that. And now I'm going to open my register app. And I'm just simply going to scan this barcode. Um, and it got ID'd on a different product. So can't use the zero like this have to do like this two one two three four five yeah and that's why Bologna got identified so you can't use um, the, uh, the you can't ignore the two in the front right so that's part of it and that makes your product codes uh, not unique because we're only looking at six digits and your next product code is still going to be two followed by five zeros and this one's going to be two followed by five zeros so the two is ignored and the one is ignored on the end and that's a problem and to solve this problem you would utilize your uh, DLX app uh, software to reconfigure the barcode format on a detector scale and I uh, am going to send you this video and then another video where I show how to do that. All right, thank you.